Hi guys, welcome back to Top Tips Graphics. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial of creating branded JCs pattern in Adobe Illustrator for sublimation printing. So let's start. First of all, let's open the size breakdown list of the different t-shirt sizes such as small, medium, large, etc. Here in this matrix list, you can see the final chest width and the length of the JCs of each sizes. So let's make the pattern of the medium sizes JCs. If you are taking the medium sizes JCs, its final chest width should be 53 cm and the length should be 73 cm after the final production. For that, copy the medium size to mock up to a new page with the size of 250 cm width and height and just to paste the mock up into the new work page. First, let's make the front portion of the t shirt pattern. Here the final chest width is 53 cm and the length is 73 cm. So let's create a rectangle of width 55.5 cm and height of 71.5 cm. After that choose some specific color for the rectangle or pick the color from the mockup for identifying the front portion of the pattern. Open the rulers around the artboard from the views menu or by short key Ctrl plus R. And bring the guidelines from the top of the rulers to the topmost part of the rectangle. After that take the preferences by clicking the Ctrl K short key and change the keyboard increment to 20.8 cm. Then select the guidelines in the direct selection tool and move down by one step by pressing down arrow key. Lock the guidelines. Select the rectangle and add anchor point on both intersection point of the guidelines using add anchor point tools. Now let's create the neck for the t-shirt pattern. For that make a ellipse of dimension 13.9 cm width and 11.5 cm height. Change the color of the neck portion with the different color and delete the top half part of the ellipse by using the direct selection tool. Place the neck portion to the edge portion of the rectangle and align towards the middle of the rectangle. After that create the guidelines on the both end of the neck. Lock the neck portion by the short key Ctrl 2 and add the anchor point on both intersection points by using the add anchor point tools. Now select the left top corner anchor point of the rectangle using the direct selection tool and press enter so you will get this command box. So move the anchor point horizontally by 6.8 cm and vertically by 14.6 cm like this. Then create a small rectangle of width 5.2 cm and height 1.8 cm. Place this rectangle at the corner of the sleeve ends as shown here. Select this anchor point and take anchor point tool to create curve of this anchor point. Now click over the anchor point and drag until one end meet to the top corner of the rectangle as shown here. Now just delete the small rectangle and create another rectangle of width 10.9 cm and height 2 cm. Place the rectangle at the top left edge of the neck portion and create a curve anchor point by click and drag the anchor point using the anchor point tool until one edge reach the bottom left edge of the rectangle. Now delete the bulged portion of the neck by using the direct selection tool like this and delete the rectangle.
Now unlock that neck portion. Then select the body and neck portion all together and by using the shape build tool, delete the neck portion from the pattern by clicking over the neck area by pressing and holding the alt button. Then delete the rightmost anchor point of the body pattern by direct selection tool. After that, select the left sleeve portion of the body using the direct selection tool and copy paste the same portion over the same area. Now move the copied parts to the right side by pressing and holding the shift button. Convert that object to the stroke only and reflect the object to the mirror position. Now move forward to connect with the right sleeve part. Then select the nearby anchor point of both objects and join the anchor point by the short key Ctrl J. Do the same process on the bottom of the sleeve portion also. Here we completed the complete front body of the t-shirt pattern. Also convert the body to the fill color from the stroke. Now let's make the backside portion of the t-shirt pattern. For that create a rectangle of 55.5 cm width and 70.5 cm height. Then give you a guideline on the middle of the rectangle. Add anchor point at the topmost middle of the rectangle. Then make a rectangle of 34 cm width and place middle as shown here. Then using the anchor point tool create an handle on both sides of total 34 cm as the rectangle above. Now just to delete the rectangle. After that just unlock the guidelines and delete all unwanted guidelines. Then create a new guidelines on the top of the rectangle and take the preferences by pressing Ctrl K and change the keyboard increment to 19.8 cm. Move the anchor point towards down by pressing the down arrow one time. Lock the guidelines. Add anchor point on both intersection point of the rectangle by add anchor point tools. After that select the leftmost anchor point of the rectangle and press enter. And move the anchor point horizontally by 7.3 cm and vertically by 10.7 cm. Then create a rectangle of size 4.9 cm width and 3.9 cm height. Keep it at the bottom of the sleeve portion like this. Select this anchor point and take the anchor point tool to create a curve over this anchor point. Now click over the anchor point and drag until one end meets to the top corner of the rectangle as shown here. And just to delete the rectangle. Here we get the left sleeve portion of the t-shirt pattern. After that we can create the right sleeve portion of the back body. For that just to follow the process that we did in the front body pattern as shown here. Here we completed the back body portion of the t-shirt pattern. Also just to change the color of the body, back body into orange color. Now let's move to the sleeve portion. Here also it's coming the same process with the different dimension. So as usual make a rectangle of width 44 cm and height 48 cm. Change the rectangle color into a different color. Create a new guidelines on the bottom of the rectangle. Take the preferences by pressing the Ctrl K and change the increment into 14 cm. Then move the guidelines towards up by pressing the arrow key one time. Then lock the guidelines and add the anchor point on the both intersection point of the rectangle. 
After that, select the bottom right anchor point and take the preferences by clicking Ctrl K. Change the keyboard increment into 2.5 cm. Move the right bottom anchor point towards left and left bottom anchor point towards right. Unlock and delete the guidelines. Create a new guidelines on the bottom of the object and move towards up by 2.5 cm. Add the anchor point on the both side of the intersection in the object. After that just move the both bottom anchor point towards outside by 1.25 cm. Create a guidelines on the left side of the object. Take the preferences by Ctrl K and change the increment into 16.5 cm. And move the guidelines towards right by pressing the arrow key one time. Lock the guidelines and add the anchor point on the intersection. Select the left top anchor point and take the preferences. Change the increment into 5 cm. Move the anchor point towards bottom by pressing the arrow down key one time. Create another guidelines on the left side of the object. Change the keyboard increment into 9.2 cm. And to move the guidelines towards right side by pressing the arrow key one time. Add the anchor point on the intersection. Now select the left corner anchor point and press enter. To move the anchor point by horizontally 11.7 cm and vertically by 14.5 cm. Now create a rectangle with the width 31 cm and height 12 cm. Keep this rectangle in the right corner of the object as shown here. Using anchor point tool, create a curve over this anchor point by clicking over the anchor point and drag until one end meets to the bottom corner of the rectangle as shown here. Delete the rectangle. Now select the right top anchor point by using the direct selection tool. Press enter. Here we have to give you a special value for moving the anchor point that is horizontally minus 17.8 cm and vertically 7.8 cm. Now just add an anchor point on the approximate middle of this log portion. Then select that anchor point by using the direct selection tool and press enter and to move the anchor point by horizontally minus 2.5 cm and vertically 2.5 cm. Create a rectangle of 5.5 cm and height 1 cm. Place the rectangle over here. Create the curve over this center point by the same process as shown here. Fill the rectangle and let's make a curve over this area. Here also use the same process by adding the anchor point on the approximate middle of this portion. Move that anchor point by horizontally minus 2 cm and vertically 2 cm. And create a slight curve on this part by using the anchor point tool by moving the uniform distance on both sides. So guys, here we completed our right sleeve pattern. So for making the left sleeve pattern, just copy paste the same pattern and reflect into the left pattern. So finally we completed our wall the part of the t-shirt pattern. So guys, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell icon for getting the new notification. Thank you for watching the video.